Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing uh, Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. So he's the thunder breathing um, blonde guy. The uh, Tanjiro's, one of Tanjiro's crew, one of his friends. Um, it's, it's just him sort of in his timid, sort of scared look on his face. Um, I'll do, probably do his thunder clap um, at some point as well. Um, but I thought I'd start with just a more basic sort of uh, portrait of him. Head, just here. And I've kind of zoomed out. So it's, it's, his head is here and we have his sword just coming up along here. And it's kind of, it's a three quarter pose and his head is sort of a bit, bit tilted this way. So like, his face might normally be this way, but it's kind of tilted this way. So it's a little bit more complicated than what we're used to, maybe. But um, we'll see how we go anyway. So the eyes are above halfway. And we're going to start with the right eyelid. So we'll go just here. So we're about the middle, just above halfway. That's where we're starting, just here. And then I would suggest using a pencil as well. And hit pause if I go too fast, because I probably will go too fast. <laughs> Um, so this curves around, big arc, because he's got sort of, uh, he's got kind of sad, scared eyes. So these, these style eyes have real spiky ends to them, like so. And then they have a line that just comes off here and a spiky end here with a line for kind of an eyelash coming off here as well and then these go up and around so we're just curving around down to here and of course inside there is darker thick dark black so you just fill it in So underneath then we have those big eyes that they have. So um, it's kind of a long, a long iris. It's kind of like not a perfect circle. It's a bit longer. That goes around and then up the other side, just up to here. And then he has, he's kind of strange eyes. So they're kind of cut in half. So we have a line that goes just across here and then there there is like some hatching lines just coming across like so like for um, a kind of a shadow section and then his pupil is kind of cut in half as well so just underneath there we have a letter U type shape and then this comes right across here as well And maybe with some hatched lines in there too. It's quite unusual and a dark brown. It's like dark brown here and then yellow in here. His eye bottom eyelid then is pretty simple. It's just it comes across underneath here, straight across, and then it goes up diagonal, just this way. And he's got some worry lines just around that. So like some extra sort of wrinkles, little small lines, like so. And then he's one eyelid line just here on top. And then two just here on this side. So then his other eye starts just here, I see just over there, and because it, so his head is turned away away from us, right? So when a character's head is turned away from you, when his head his nose is basically pointing this way, it's not straight up at us; it's pointing off that way. So that means that the eye here is going to be smaller than this eye, 
right? So I, I don't think I've done much of this on this channel, but basically this eye is further away. So when things are further away, they get smaller, basically, okay? So you're just gonna do his top eyelid just here too. But see, it's it's much smaller than this one. Um, right, so this eyelid comes up and then we're gonna thicken it up, go around. Bring it down to a little point here and uh, have a little line sticking off as well, just like here. And then of course you fill it in dark black. Then we have his long iris just coming down here. Like so up and around, in underneath this eye, just here. I'm just gonna bring this eyelash maybe a little bit longer, just there. And then as well, this eyelid line is like cut in half. Like so, his, his iris, sorry, not the eyelid line, his iris. And then underneath there you have that semicircle that half circle section. Like so. And then some hatching lines in this dark part up here too. Now, so you'll notice his eyes, his eye line so that's sort of straight across normal for normal characters facing facing us straight on, but we're gone down a little bit as well. So this then comes across underneath here, and then we're going to go diagonal up. And then we can add some of those worry lines just around his eyes that give him that timid look. And then a couple up here too. It's like one in there and there. So his nose then, his nose is pointing this way. So we have a line down like so, with a line going back the other way underneath it. It's pointing that way, down and across that way. If you were to draw a line, it goes that way. See, same level as his eyes. Going off that way. You can maybe add just another line beside his nose, just there as well. <clears throat> so, nostril, just in here. Then his mouth open, he's got, um, we can see his teeth. And he's looking pretty scared, so let's go. We will, so his mouth starts just underneath his nose here. Just here. And then this is gonna curve up. And then it goes down back here. And it's just like underneath the inside of this eyelid here. So we have this, and then the bottom lip comes across to here, and it goes back up to there. And maybe you could thicken up the top lip just in here, just to give it a bit of a shadow maybe, and maybe a little bit back here too. So we have just a line underneath that then for his uh, bottom lip, just about here. And maybe a little one curving up the other way then. So
So now, his face, right? So we're gonna do something different. Usually I do, the, the chin is here. So that's the line for all his facial features. But I'm gonna start up here beside the uh, eyelash because his face is in three quarters. So we have side of his face, jaw, chin, and then a different line up here. So we'll go, first we go down to here. And then this is gonna come back into here towards his chin. And then this chin will come around this direction up to his jaw here. And then this, when we get to about here, so it's like underneath the edge of his eyelash, we're gonna jump a bit and then go up towards his ear on this side. So it's a different sort of shape because his face is turned this way. So his jaw is kind of higher up on this side. Over here. And then if you want, you can thicken up, give, give some of these face lines some extra weight, thicken them up, because that's the kind of style this anime is drawn in. Some lines are thicker than others. But of course, you could just leave it like this if you wanted. But I'm just gonna make some of them maybe a bit thicker. Makes it a bit more interesting. And really hits that style that the Demon Slayer anime has. Really, really good style. Really well done. Really well drawn. Really well animated. Okay, hair. So, um, let's see, right, so we'll go, we'll go over this side of his head. And we'll finish this line just up into the side of his face, just here. And then we have a line for hair, just here. So he's a fringe, that, but kind of a square, square type hairstyle. He's no spikes. They're all sort of squares. So this is the first one, and then it comes up this way, and comes down, comes across. Then we have another one, comes down, comes across. This one comes up like so. Then we're gonna bring it diagonal right down across the center of his face. This one's gonna come across here. This one's gonna come down. Then we'll go across here. And then this one's gonna go all the way up to about here. Next one in here, comes down here. Bring it across, up, down, across. Here, back down, into here, down beside his eye, it's just a line here and a line here, and then this comes across there, and then down again, across. that way and then we have the one that goes across the top of his ear just here and then his ear is in here just on this side and I haven't forgotten about his eyebrows I just uh, we'll get to that now so we'll do the ear first just in there and then various bumps and lines for Ligaments and bones and stuff in the ear. Like so. And then we can do his eyebrows just in here. So, unusual eyebrows. So, just here, we're going to go down. So, he's real worried. So, the eyebrows are coming down his face. They're not across or 
coming down in towards his nose, they're going the opposite way because he's got a real worried look on his face. Comes down all the way to there. Comes in like so. Back up to his hair. Back underneath his hair. Imagine he keeps going. The line in there and then up to a point in here and there's like straight lines just coming across his eyebrows here as well. Then the other eyebrow over here, <coughs> over here, comes down, down across his eye, back up underneath his hair, and then up into here. And then we have some lines just coming across like so. Right, so the rest of his hair, so. Right, so we have a line just coming up here. Then we have another layer beside his eyelash just here. And then this comes up to about there. Of course, there's all hair lines and texture lines on these as well, but I'll do them all together, I think, when the hair, most of the hair is in. So there's another box-like piece of hair here. Another one going up this way. And then his hair starts to go around his head. So this piece comes into here. This piece goes around to here. So we're gonna to start to go around now. Next layer's up here. Bumping across the top of my page there. Comes down a bit, goes up a bit, back down. And then we're going to go back down the other side. And then we're going to start going square in the other way. So flat edge. Down to here. Flat edge there. This way down into here. All the way down. And this one goes behind his neck. So we have a line just for his neck, just here. Well, actually, the hair is over the neck. I'm, I'm sorry, that's my mistake. So that's his hair line, just there. And now, we're gonna add all hair lines on that. So, so we'll start here where we stopped, so have lines this one comes up towards the center of his head with another one goes down just here this one's maybe a little bit thicker in the middle. Some more here, more there. Right, so another one coming down here. That's that one. Then one here. This is slightly longer. One here. Then this one goes up to about there, and then it's going to go across, up and in. And then we have a line straight across here. 
bit of a shadow in there. And then some hair that sticks up the center. Bit of a darker shadow inside. Like so. And then some more hairlines here. And then some back here too, on this side. Okay, so top of his collar of his uniform. So we can see just a little bit of his neck just here. And then the top of his uniform goes right underneath his chin. So it's like you have a line coming down from his chin just there. And then this is gonna come this direction, across to here, down to there, back across, down, like so. Then this comes across underneath his chin, comes back up the other side, and because his head is tilted away from us, this has to be shorter, like so. A good bit shorter. Because not only is his, is his head tilted away, but this shoulder is like tilted back as, as well. Then we can just see a line for his neck muscle in there and a bit of a shadow underneath his chin. Like so, and then another line just coming in here for his shirt, and one here too, like so. Okay, so hands, sword, shoulders, clothes and stuff. Right, so this will probably be a long one. So that's the face done. Um, right, so we have a button just here with some designs and bumps and things on it. And then we have the his collar coming down. This meets his sword at some point just here, I'd say. So, so that's the collar on that side and then We'll do the color on the edge of his kimono just there on this side. This comes down a bit longer. Inside we have his pocket of his uniform there. And then we have the inside of his black part of his uniform just comes, comes all the way down, touches his hand, goes behind his hand. And then we have another button here. Maybe a fold for clothes here. And this comes up and goes across here, so. Just another line for his color of his uniform, just maybe here. Uh, his shoulder. So his shoulder will go this way. down like this on this side this one will come out and down and go behind it his sword just about there but of course this shoulder will just keep going bumping for folds for clothes goes down off my page there on that side right so his sword basically is like here so it comes into his hand, so say it goes off my page up there, and then it comes down into his hand here, just underneath his eye down here. So we have one fist just down here. 
So we're gonna go, we'll go across first, take your time with hands, because they're tricky. So then we'll do the knuckles at the back. So we're gonna bump it down. Bump for the next one. Bump for the next one. And then a sort of a straighter line just for his wrist kind of in there. Then we'll bring it around the other side. So we'll go around that knuckle, bring it down to the bottom of the finger, bump it for the next one, bump it for the next one. So we're going this way, diagonal. And then the last finger just here. And this is gonna go around the hilt of his sword. So it's gonna come up, cross like so, down that way, straight down. Hit the hand, the bottom of the handle of his sword is just right here. So then this comes across here. Okay, okay. Right, so then fingers in here. So we're gonna go up, cross, like so. We go up, cross, again like that. Bring this one pretty much the same, like so. And then we have his thumb just coming out from his finger here and it comes back in around like so into this finger here something like that Right, so now, so we have the bottom of a sword, so we're gonna go just down this way, bring it around the bottom, back up and join it into his hand there. Little details at the bottom of a sword, like two lines coming down here, line across that way, line across that way, another one. there and then in there uh, right so this goes into his kimono and uniform demon slayer uniform so we have ba, 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 we have a white sleeve just here and this comes in underneath his black sleeve just here goes down off my page white sleeve then comes into there And the bottom of the black sleeve, just there. Then in here, dark shadow, black sleeve goes in underneath his kimono, which comes down this way. Gotta speed up now, guys, because I'm running out of time, I'd say. And this comes down around, like so. And then this sleeve comes back to there. Um, so this comes up, this sleeve comes up. And then it's gonna go right across like this to there. And maybe you could darken up this section, add a shadow. Like so. And then add some fold lines for his clothes. So one here. Another one. This way, another one that way, another one there, another line here. This is actually a line of stitching that goes all the way up to his, nearly to his shoulder, just here. And we have another line in here. And 
Then there's those lines just on the edge of his sleeve. I think there is four of them. There's a triangle in here. Bit of a triangle at the bottom. Triangles all over his kimono. Triangle there. One in the corner. Fold line here. Just adding some shadow, thicker lines into here, here too, in here. Triangle. Triangle. Triangles. Triangles all over this. This one goes up over his shoulder. Triangle here. Triangle here. Triangle here. Da, 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 da. Triangle. 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 <clears throat> okay, so edge of his sword. It goes up into the his say his thumb just here. So the straight edge. Like so. Then another shorter straight edge. Just here. His little finger then. It just comes across it here. And then this comes right across. So we're gonna go around now for the fingers. So this one comes around like so. Next one, it's just here, comes around like so. This one comes a bit longer. And then the next one comes out there. So I'll just add in those fingers here, so just so we know where we are. So that's like his little finger. This is his... Ring finger. Comes down like so. And then his middle... Finger goes up and down that way. And then this one comes down a bit further. And then his index finger is here. Take your time with the hands, guys. They're tricky. So I think this one comes around here and then goes down. It's around in here. And then we have the knuckles coming down underneath each one of those fingers. The last one in here and then nails on his fingers like so and then his thumb coming around the other side so <clears throat> touching his index finger here it's the bottom of it this one's gonna come around to his thumb knuckle, then down the back of his hand, and back around the other side of the sword. Like that. And then we have a thumbnail for the video. No, for his thumb. <laughs> like so. And just a little gap for his finger just in here, actually. That's not bad. Thumb looks a bit weird, but eh, don't dwell on it. Eh, so then white sleeve just here, comes 
up into the sword. This comes around underneath. And then black sleeve goes down to here. Meets the sleeve for his kimono. Then the other side of the kimono is here. And then this comes down off my page that way. Then we have a triangle in here. Triangle in here. I know I'm going too fast now, but I, I'm definitely over my time. That way. That way. That way. That way. Fair play to anyone who followed along so far. You are a legend. That way. Uh, all right, we'll finish the sword. So this comes up like so, goes around. Then it has a line here and it has uh, lines and triangles all up the hilt. So we're gonna go across like so. Little triangle in here. Uh, top of a triangle there. Bottom of a triangle here. And then sort of fabric foldy lines just coming across this way. Ba, ba, ba. We can see a bit of a triangle in here. Line across that way, triangle down, cross. Triangle. So then that metal part uh, of the sword just, just appears, so it's going to curve around, come to a bump, and around the other side. In there. Then it has an extra edge, so an extra line. whole lot and then there's some decoration and sort of detail in in under there you can add that or not it's up to you just little circles bumps scratches etc and then we use the golden top part comes around like so where the blade starts to come out it's just here like this and then our blade, slightly curved, I think, but we're gonna go as straight as we can. Using a ruler, straight edge. Kind of. And then off here. Like so. And then another sort of uh, darker section coming down here. It doesn't have to be, it can be a bit bumpy. It's like where the blade changes direction just into there. And of course he has yellow lightning going up his sword, but uh, that could be done with yellow color. It's not, it's not drawn in anyway. So we'll just add the rest of the triangles. Fold line triangle. And a little one just here. And you can th you can thicken up some of his shapes for his edges as well if you want it. Not essential of course. It's just the style the anime is drawn in. It's got sort of thick edges on his sleeves. A few more bumps here for clothes. Thicker edges on them. Thick edge down on the sword just here. Bit of a triangle in here. Here too. And oh we can see just top of his belt just along here. So we have a buckle. You can be you can barely see it. Just down here. Coming across his trousers. Bit of a tassel coming off his sword, just a little thing hanging off. And 
Maybe a fold line for his uniform just there as well. Uh, yeah, but that's it. That is a Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. Bit of a long one, I know. Hope it was good. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out my Patreon. I've, I've no rewards on it, but just if you feel like donating, it's there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.